morning ladies and gents and today's topic is a little ink sack choco bait very effective bait puts out an extra smell in the water the guys like using it especially in your off color ginger beer or dirty water um, it works exceptionally well on the eastern cape for those smaller eagle rays which is a tough fish to hook tough fish to catch and in general a very underestimated bait um, so when it's really quiet and you're battling for bites and there's a couple of guys on the beach this is a nice little bait I'll put on a bank close to Broken Reef, um, any of those areas to, to actually get it. I've got a nice medium sized choco here for the specific bait from Adcan Marine. I'm going to cut it. I like cutting it on the cartilage like I always mention. Because that piece around the cartilage is always it's better to have it on the sides of a piece you catch, not on the actual Right, now guys, this is it. That little sack there, the silver, blue, black, that is your ink sack. And cut that out quickly, so you can see. Quite a messy bait, but a very effective bait. Now this is basically what we're gonna need. Now how I will make that with, with a piece of chocker, obviously. Let's take the rest out. And this piece I'm going to use specifically next week to show you guys a bait that I tie with a chocker head. Alright, so first I've got my hook on a piece of line, like I would fish it. I'll put a toothpick through. Ah, that toothpick broke. Take the other side. Put the toothpick through the eye and that's to hold my foam in my bait. Clip it. There we go. Take your piece of foam. I stick it in line with the point of your hook is where I'll stop my foam. So that I can make sure that my bait's proud. Alright. Now adapt your bait sizes to the size of your hook you're using. And this is an ideal little size for that. And you'll tie. You will tie the foam on. In your foam you can use quite a bit of cotton to tie it on. Now important latex cotton makes neater baits. Something I'm just going to repeat again guys. We've said it many times but it's important. And my hook choice in J-hooks is the Mustad Ring Soy. Very very nice hook. Okay now first I'm going to build a body for this bait. Normal. I'm going to look at the size. That's the size plus I want tentacles. So I'm just going to build my base quickly. Cut off that piece. There for now. Then your length would be there. And that's my tentacles I'll put on. Now it's always good to put tentacles guys purely because of the fact that it creates movement. Um, any predatory fish that uh, hunts on movement will be attracted towards this bait and if the smells right and the looks right they're not going to leave it in dirty water your movement as well as your smell plays a very big role now my toothpick that will go around there I'll make a little incision put the hook through put the toothpick through the incision incision and I cover my foam with a solid piece of chocker. The reason I do that, it makes my bait last, it makes it slightly a bit more bulky and it makes my bait last longer. This is an unbeaten piece of chocker. So should there be pickers that take the outside piece of your chocker away and pick it away, they're putting that smell in the water, but it'll take them longer to get through this. Which with all that commotion of them picking and the smell getting into the water, it might lure in a bigger fish and you will have just enough bait on your hook to actually get the big fish to bully them out of the way and grab this bait. Alright, that's my base of my bait. That's what I'm going to use. And now I'll just wrap chocker around that beaten chocker. Guys, there's a couple of ways. You can now go and cut exactly the size of that bait and beat that to tie it on. Or you can make it nice and mushy by using a long strip in my chocker hammer. Turn it around first and start beating it. Get it nice and soft. 
bolt top from the bottom. And I like making sure my edges is very soft. Now what you're gonna do, is you've got that nice and soft part, if you're gonna make a couple of these baits out of one chocker, and you don't wanna use all the ink, you're gonna cut a piece off. All right. And that you can push out, start spreading it. The guys like using a pitch back weight in this. And now what you do is you beat it into your chocker. That ink and smell as deep in as possible. So it doesn't just wash off immediately when it comes in the water. It is nice and sticky, you'll see. So that will stay. Now you see this, this ink, you can wrap it on the inside a bit before to keep a bit of smell on the inside and then start from there and we wrap this bait nicely around to cover the whole body like that. And we secure it with a cotton. This I don't do too firm. You want it nice and soft and you can still shape it with your hands in the cotton. Your body plays a big role. The way you shape that is the way your bait will shape. Now you can vary this in size. You can make it half the length with longer tentacles. You can make it this size. You can make it bigger. You can make it a long bait. This is kind of a general medium size bait. Uh, with the length, I would actually, I like fishing just above the hook that size. This is a bit longer than what I normally fish it. Short tentacles, you can make them longer. But that's your general ink wrap bait that works everywhere, just for that additional smell. Try this bait, you'll get some nice fish on it. Mm -hmm.